Zach, I'm kidding. What do you think? Congratulations. You've been set up. This is yours. Either we got a problem or you got a bad engine. But Zach, I got one last thing to show you. And we got you set up right here with a two liter turbo, video tested, ready to go. Not much has changed. It's still a non-running Volkswagen Beetle that's halfway torn apart. I have gotten a lot of new parts though. Uh, still have the hood. These are actually my headlights straight from China. You might not actually think they look good, but they actually look really good. We'll get into that a little bit later. And I've also gotten a other little bit of stuff. I got the AC condenser, the fan assembly. Got all that ready to go. New radiator support, all that ready to go. And also, I got the motor in. Huge thank you to J&J Auto Wrecking. They have been super great the whole time. If you guys need any kind of parts, hit them up first. <laughs> they pulled this motor and sh shipped it out to me within like five days. It was su super fast. Shipping was awesome. They pulled it right up into my driveway, right into my garage. Everything was very nice, very convenient. I've worked with some pretty crappy shipping companies, but this was actually really awesome. The guy was super cool. What's really great is I actually watched a video on this thing running before they pulled it out. It came out of a 2012 EOS, I believe and running great it only has 44,000 miles on it if you guys want to watch that video of it running i can link it in the description too if you guys are curious sounds great everything runs awesome they tested everything out it's 100 percent working motor so that is very good also on the list of parts i bought i bought a new downpipe this is an arm catted downpipe i would pull it out here let me pull it out real quick I don't know a whole lot about downpipes, but I did a little bit of research, and from what I understand is if you keep it catted, it a, sounds a lot better, it's not as obnoxious, and that's what I really want from my daily driver. I don't want anything like super obnoxious and loud in my car. And also, if you don't have it catted, I think you can get a lot more exhaust smell, and I don't want any of that. I just want a normal catted downpipe. That sounds better, and every, all the reviews I read on this was pretty good, so we're gonna try it out, make sure it works good. So we have the new motor, we have all the parts, we have the new downpipe, we have everything we need to swap these motors out, except the motivation. I'm always 100% honest with you guys, and I always like to do my own work myself. This, however, is something I really don't wanna do. Uh, I have pulled Volkswagen motors before, but they were on classic Volkswagens where it takes 30 minutes to pull them out. I've done it multiple times on old Volkswagens. It's just, I don't have the tools or the it's mainly just a motivation. I don't really want to do this. I don't have the tools or the space to do, be able to pull this motor out and swap it. I could probably do it. It would just probably take a long time. And it's, in all honesty, guys, it's not exciting. Who really wants to watch a time lapse of me pulling out a stock motor and then putting another stock motor in, especially in a Volkswagen Beetle? It's, it's not exciting. In all honesty, you guys don't want to watch it and I don't even want to do it. <laughs> I don't even want to edit it. So I did end up hiring a guy $450 to swap the motors out on this thing, which I think is a really good price. And once I heard that, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely not doing it. <laughs> but he's not gonna install like the radiator and stuff. I'll end up doing all that because I know how it goes back together. I know a lot of people are probably gonna be mad at me and saying it's not very ultimate rebuilds of you not to do something on your own, but it's just, it's a stock motor. It's not exciting. So I'm gonna focus on other stuff while this is being swapped, like ordering the rest of these parts. I'm sorry. I just wanna let you guys know that I'm sorry that I'm not putting it in, but and then again, I'm not really sorry because it's not not something I want to do. Let's figure out a way to get this motor onto the back of the truck. We can we can do that ourselves. <laughs> All right, let's do it.
And just like that, it is back in my garage. Motors are swapped and it is running. We gotta slap the whole front end back together, all the cooling system, and have all the parts, AC condenser, radiator support, all the new parts that we need to put it back together. But first, I wanna straighten out this piece right here. This is where the radiator support mounts to. It's a little crooked and I don't want it to be leaning up against the motor or anything because that's what happened with the fan. The fan actually broke because it got pushed into the motor. So we're going to straighten this back out. I was going to buy a new piece for this, but I can't have a, I'm having a hard time finding it and this metal's thin enough. I think I can fix it. If not, I'll find a new piece, but for now we're going to straighten it out. That way we can slot the front end back together. Stuck in my brain. And just like that, it's a running and driving car again, you know, just hire someone else to do all your work for you. It makes it so much easier. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I had to put the full front end back together. I actually remembered how it all went back together, which is surprising because it's been close to a month when I took it all apart. The only problem is I am missing one bolt. It is for my AC condenser. I'm missing this one for my low line, I think it is. Uh, I found the other one. I just couldn't find the one the one I'm missing. I don't know where I put it. So I might have to order a new one of that. I'm going to look around a little bit more, see if I can find it, but probably end up having to order it. I started right up. You guys might have noticed it was a little loud. That is because my exhaust isn't connected. Uh, you know, I put the new downpipe in, or I had him put it in, and I forgot to give him the coupler that attaches to it. Let me see if I can show you. Right there. We'll hook that up and it will sound a lot better. I would take it for a test drive right now, but I want to fix the exhaust first and it's nighttime and I don't have headlights. I do have headlights, I just have to hook them up and I can't really hook them up right now because I need a bracket for one of them. Actually, I can install this side. 
maybe I'll do that tomorrow just to show you guys what they look like because they look really cool. Uh, yeah, we'll have to continue this in the morning. This is making me really excited. <laughs> I'm excited to have a new car. moving. <laughs> I don't have a tag for it. It's not insured or anything. I don't really want to take it on the main road, but maybe a little bit. We'll see. Let me go down the road one more time and then I might take it on the main road. It runs fine. There's no lights coming on. Uh, there is an airbag light on, and I think that's because I had to unhook the sensors up at the front. And, and we ran it for a little bit, so maybe I just have to reset it. I think that's the only problem. There's no airbags blown on this thing, so I don't think there should be a problem with it. This is exciting. It runs good. All right, I'm going to take it on the main road just for a little bit so I can get the speed. I don't really want to go too fast on my street. love the steering wheel. The steering on it's just like really tight. I don't know how to explain it. my GoPro is still on the roof. Yeah, nothing's coming on. I think we're good. Okay, this car is actually really fun. It's pretty quick too. It has a little get up to it. I mean, I've never really driven fast cars before, or really too many with turbos in it, but it's really fun. <laughs> nothing's wrong with it. No lights have came on. No nothing, anything to worry about. So all that's really good. I was really worried about some kind of code coming up and then having to dig into that but no nothing's come up so all good news now what's left is just body work and paint really wait for all these other body parts to come in too so i think i'm going to go ahead and throw on this hood yeah this hood was damaged and i got a full refund from it and they told me to keep it i think i'll just throw it on here maybe try to fix it it's pretty badly damaged though i'm going to throw it on here just in case i have to leave this out overnight or something no electronics get damaged or anything but yeah, I'll throw that on and I might even go ahead and start digging into this body work. There's a couple little dings and dents everywhere I can go ahead and fix. Nothing too hard. Oh, also, I want to show you guys the headlights. Yeah, we'll show you guys the headlights too.
And just like that, all the body work is done. I think I got all of it. I'm, we'll be able to double check once we get the other parts in because most likely they're gonna need a little bit of body work, like the front bumper and the other fender, that other fender too. But we got most of it done. All the hard stuff is done. I was originally just gonna do the body filler and the glazing putty yesterday, but decided to go ahead and prime it in case I needed to pull it out and I don't want any kind of moisture getting on the bare metal or even on the body filler or anything because that tends to ruin it. So just went ahead and primed it, that way I don't have to worry about it. This hood actually came out really good. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to fix it, but you know, it feels really good actually. Uh, it was all rippled right here. So I'd rub my hand across it and it'd make like a wave. <laughs> it was really bad, but it, I think I did a pretty good job on it. But you can see a bunch of little bugs on it. That's why you don't prime at night, guys. Wait until daylight. But primer is okay, because this was all gonna sand out. Like all this top layer of primer is gonna be sanded off. But all this looks really good. The corners came out really good. There was a spot up here that was really dented in. I think this came out good. We'll be able to know more about that once we get the front bumper on. Same thing with the other fender. Once we get the other fender, we'll be able to know if this is all good over here. See if it goes with the body line well. Yep, it all looks really good. I think, uh, I think this hood is pretty much saved. Man, this thing just looks so good. <laughs> I'm just so excited to finish it now. Just gotta wait for more parts to come in, like the front bumper, the other fender, that fender. Just a bunch of little things, you know. I mean, those are pretty big, but <laughs> a bunch of other little things too, like the bumper mounts. But that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't wanna drag on anything else. I probably will work on my garage a little bit for like a little final shot. <laughs> I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, but that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Uh, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram yet, I post a lot of behind the scenes. You can check me out there. I post a lot of like, upcoming projects and stuff like that. Check me out there if you want. If not, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Yep. Alright, I'm going to work on this a little bit.